I thought I'd make a little video about my electric bike that I've been working on. Um, I have it running pretty well so far. There's still some small stuff I gotta go back and finish on it. Um, this is a Chris Light motor. It's a 40 millimeter wide, 4080, um, 8 kilovolts uh, winding. I'm running a 21S battery on it. That's a Panasonic, or I'm sorry, uh, LG HG2 cells. It's a 12P 21S, 36 amp hour. I'm actually short cycling it, so I only charge it up to 4.14 volts per cell, and I cut it off around 3 volts per cell just to help with uh, battery longevity. Um, I've got full lighting to add to it uh, with like a 5 and a quarter, I think it's a 5 and a quarter inch headlight, dual beam, and an integrated tail light that I'm going to add to it. I have a 20 amp 12 volt buck regulator that uh, will power all the lighting and accessories and I've got some switches and everything to hook that up. It's uh, 19 inch wheels, XL wheels with um, Shinko tires on them. Um, those are laced with 12 gauge spokes. In the back it's a one cross, in the front it's a two cross. Um, it's got a Fox DH40 front fork. It's got a, um, a Cane Creek rear mono shock. I've been running about 90 amps on the uh, battery side and um, it's about eight, eight kilowatts or so. Um, cycle analyst. It's got a 200 millimeter brakes, four piston, Hope brakes. It's got Hope front hub as well. Um, race face front handlebars. Got it up so far to about 56 miles an hour. Um, it really starts to suck down power using the flux weakening, so kind of kills your range a bit, but. Um, if you're just cruising around 30 miles an hour, it pulls about between 30 and 40 watt hours per mile, so it's pretty good. You start getting on a little harder and it goes up to about 50, 60 watt hours per mile. I'm a bigger guy too, so with that and the tires, it doesn't really help the efficiency too much, but I'm not running a regen yet. I've got to decide how I'm going to activate that and wire it into the controller. Um, I was a little bit short on time when I was finishing the assembly for my deadline, so I did not add the regen um, or the lighting. I'll go back and do that. And, um, I ended up with um, no pedals, just pegs. There's really no point for pedals on a bike like this. Um, rides fine. It'll light up the tires if you want. Um, doesn't quite pull the front wheel, but I'm thinking about doing a motor swap and going with a slightly bigger controller. The controller is the ASI BAC2000. Um, I'm actually thinking about going with the 4000 version of that model. And since I already have it all, all the wiring harnesses made for it, it'll pretty much bolt right up and then raise current up to about 150 amps motor. Um, I've got heat sinks and ferro fluid on the, on the hub motor. Um, it's still thermally limited. Uh, I have it set to start cut back on throttle at around 100 and around 100 degrees Celsius, and uh, that will prevent it from getting too hot. I don't, I don't know how what kind of temperature the laminations will really start to fry at, but I'm guessing you don't want to go much over that. Um, just riding around, it stays pretty cool, but down here in Texas, it's real humid, real hot, so it doesn't help cooling at all. Um, definitely think that the Ferro fluid was made a pretty noticeable difference. I ran for a while before I injected that with just the hub sinks, and um, it would get hot. I mean, if I put down the power, it'd get hot real quick. So that's that made a big difference. I can pretty much ride around all I want as long as I don't go too hard on it continuously, or at least let it coast down for a little bit and get the temperature deck down to you know 80, 90 Celsius. Um, general riding it seems like if it's hot out, it'll sit around like 80 um celsius but if i really try to i can get it up pretty quick look back here you can see my charging setup and my power disconnect it's like a 300 amp thousand volt disconnect that kills all power to the bike from the battery the battery's fused with a 200 amp fuse i think it's medium time uh fuse length and then 
one of the things I did different was I widened the body panels. This is a HDPE, high density polyethylene. Um, I made a basically a jig out of MDF and then cut out that out of a sheet of uh, HDPE um, so it gives you more space for uh, my battery inside. I have two packs sitting side by side and in there and um, a few other electronics. I got a bundle of wiring up here. I've got that um, some of the wiring for the, the cycle analyst and for throttle is a little long and so I gotta cut that down and repin it. And then there's a couple accessories that I haven't quite wired in yet. I just have I just bundled in the wires for now and um, I'll probably get back to that here in a couple weeks or so when I get some time. Brakes work pretty good. Um, they're the V4s. Um, I think uh, probably here in the next couple of weeks I'll also wire in the regen on it. Um, obviously I'm running censored and it's flux weakening. Um, or, uh, sorry, uh, field oriented control or space vector control, however you want to call it. Um, real quiet, you can't even hear the thing when you're riding. You hear pretty much wind noise and that's about it. I also need to adjust those uh, mirrors. They kind of—I think I'm gonna put some Loctite when I readjust them, so that way they don't swivel on me. They can kind of been coming loose when I'm riding on the trail. I haven't done anything too muddy with it yet. The bottom panel where the drive is—I um, gotta reinstall that. I gotta cut it and figure out how I'm gonna do. Figure out how I'm gonna cut it. And I might move the drive down a little bit lower, so there's a little bit of exposed area right there. So I'm not trying to fling too much crud up in the battery bay um, I have a rear fender similar to the front one I don't really like them that much I think I'm gonna pull those and go with something a little different but that's all I got for now enjoy, enjoy.